Corn harvest is here, and it's here to stay. 24 degrees outside though last night. Frost on everything, so we ain't gonna get a very early start. We're all fueled up. We're working on cleaning dryers out. So those dryers are awesome dryers. They just are not so awesome to get going. Like, clean up and clean out, it's just a struggle. That's it, just a struggle, but that's normal. We're used to the struggle bus. We're gonna go start trying to get that fired up. They're working on it right now, vacuuming out the burner, and uh, hopefully we can get that going before we go harvesting. Otherwise, we're just gonna plug everything up. So what we were seeing out of these two machines, 9870 and 790, yesterday was how many bushel an hour? I was doing 3,800 out of my machine. One combine, yeah. This one was probably... probably 4,200, I think. Yeah, the, the 9870, no, probably 2,800. Yeah. What's that add up to? 800,000 pounds were on that cart throughout the three hours. Yeah, it was insane. Insane, we did 66 acres and It was no exhausting. Time. Yeah, I can't wait to get back out there. I love it, yeah. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. She's foggy this morning. Now the bends are starting to drip. So that means there's, and we know this, there's frost on the corn plants. You cannot combine corn when the frost is melting off the corn plants because it acts like snow. And for you Southern guys that don't know what combining corn and snow is like, when that melts, it plugs your sieve completely solid. So you cannot be combining it. So we're gonna wait for it to burn off. Plants will be wet, but it'll still go through and it won't plug nothing up. So we're kind of on hold a little bit here. Operate this thing. You know, the camera. This. Is dryer. It, yeah. Is it overwhelming? Fill it up. When it's dry, dump it out. <laughs> it no, no. It's all a continuous flow. Well, yeah, I know. You got to set it to the C, and then it'll do the rest for you. What's C stand for? Continuous. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know how to run this thing. Why would I? I don't know. It wasn't in the job description. <laughs> All that said is deliver corn as fast as you can. <laughs> oh, that we're, that we're gonna do. So the grain site that can dump 8,000 bushel an hour? Yeah, 8,000 bushel an hour. And we're combining 6,500 to 7,000. And that was our test fire last night. Wait till I really get that 790 going. You were going kind of slow. Five and a half miles an hour. <laughs> With one cart. Oh, the carting was the problem. I was oh waiting my. too much. Oh my. Don't you dare. <laughs> Everything plumbed with water and a Sol Air air compressor line that you just hook up airlines anywhere you want in one big compressor. Yeah, it's kind of cold out, huh? It's a little frigid. <laughs> this cord is as stiff as a, well, I won't say. <laughs> How many dryers are ready out of two? Both of them. I'm going to turn really? the fans on here. Perfect. We come at the right time. Yeah. They're done. We're good. <laughs> I'm standing. My ears are cold. <laughs> Fans are on. <laughs> I know, I can hear them. Yeah, I like that. It sounds like, you know, a Dodge burning its tires as it's pulling away from a Ford. It's a very rare sound. <laughs> oh, it's, it's quite common around here. Oh. <laughs> I need you to close that door and open the other one when I shut this off. Look at that this, sun. This ugly pickup was in the Hang way. Hang on, look at this sun oh, here. Here, get me kind of walking into it. Yeah. I'm joking. Walk. Put your arms out and look good. <laughs> west door of the East Dryer is now open, yes. We're closing the West door on the West Dryer too. Yes. So what's kind of annoying about these dryers is these triangles are open, so as you fill them with corn, which right now, there's corn right there, as you can see, and each one of these, the corn, it's called a mixed flow dryer. Yep, fired up! And it just mixes the grain and air blows through these holes and out the outside holes. So a little bit of grain bounces out when you're filling. Oh boy. Jeez. Cover your eyes. He warned me that he was going to start it. So all the air is coming out of here instead of through the grain right now. Trying to blow any corn or dust and debris out of the dryer right now. 
But what happens is when the corn bounces down in there, it goes into the burner and you have to get out in there and vacuum it out before you fire it up. Otherwise it plugs up the burner and it doesn't work right. <laughs> it took my hat right off. This is what we call the burner, because it is a burner. The flames will be about this tall and they'll be blue, very hot. So then the wind comes up through here using the flame as heat and then it blows through the corn which as you can see it goes very very high like really high can you see yeah so all that hot air goes throughout the dryer also if you notice the burner is not at the bottom of the dryer so the bottom two tiers don't dry anything they cool the grain so they're that's blowing air temperature air through the grain to cool it so this dryer both these dryers dump air temperature about 20 degrees warmer than the outside air temperature. That is a must have. I mean, it keeps your grain bin from spoiling or going bad, dumping cool. It is, it's changed. Another game changer as far as I'm concerned. So we just got them running. We cooked it to heat it up a little bit. That means not unloading the dryer. What I mean when I say cooked it is not unloading the dryer. So it just sits and kind of bakes in there. And now we're dumping. Can't see it hardly, it's the gusty in there, but she's dumping. Terrible amount of dust. Corn's flying out, we need to close more tires here. Oh yeah. Working so far, no problems yet. So we started this one first, as you can see, it's cooking out a lot more humidity. This one's just getting warmed up here, just starting to kick out a little humidity. So on a morning like this, they'll really smoke, won't they? I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, so the humidity and the cold air, it really will get, this. once this thing gets full of totally wet corn and gets doing what it's supposed to do in about an hour and a half, it's gonna be an intense smoke, which is steam, it's not smoke. So what's happening now is when we dump a truck, it's gonna fill these two dryers first. Once the dryers are full of wet corn, it spills over into that grain bin, bin 22, and then that's your leeway. Then if you, something happens where you quit dumping trucks or then overnight, where these dryers have a sensor when they need more corn, it'll turn that bend unload auger on and that conveyor on and it will refill them. Once they're full, that'll shut off and it's just a continuous loop. These dryers are dumping dry grain out of them right now. It's going into this little leg, which is going into the taller leg, which we call a dry leg. That one's dry, dumping into the dry leg also, boom, to whichever bend you want it to be dry corn in. That's how this dryer system is set up and that's how this is working. Works unbelievably well when everything works. <laughs> so far, it's going flawlessly. I love this time of year. I can't wait to smell that. You'll see it in future videos. Once that thing gets totally filled and it gets smoking, you get to smell that dryer corn. It's so sweet, it smells good, the corn dryer smell. Mm. Oh yeah, cheese wings in my eyeballs already. Your yeah. yeast dryer ain't running. Good morning. Hey, look guys, I've always <laughs> wanted extra hands. Oh Just quick access. <laughs> they should invent this this way. It's like holes in your jeans. It's extra. <laughs> did it fire up? It Christmas. says it did. I'm gonna get you one of these for Christmas, Swede. <laughs> I don't know. What? No. <laughs> well, you can, but I'll give it to someone else. Re gifter. What do you got going? You're setting the alarm? Here's the end of my sleep. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to set our, what is it? It's a Sensophone 400. It, uh, it's hooked into the farm and it's hooked into the landline. And if either of the dryers shut off, it calls all of our phones so that we get up at what time? Normally, right when you're just getting a couple hours of sleep, 3 a.m. Hello? It, is it broken? Are you okay? And then you get to come and fire them back up. I don't think it's okay. Blow it up. Well, that's no good. Unplug it once. It says the system's on. <laughs> Press sensor on, off, and then number two or three. It's actually broken. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy another sensor phone, 400. Oh, I'm sure they don't make this no more and everything is new and improved, so I won't be able to run it. Oh my. So here's the dryer control panels. This one's the west dryer, this one's the east dryer. This is where all the magic happens. You can set the burner temp, 
the speed it's unloading right now this dryer is unloading at 1255 that's where we're going to start at that one's unloading at 1350 they do the same bushel an hour but the read the meter is a little different oh here's your great. beater <laughs> look at it <laughs> just look at it <laughs> there's your problem rayovac owes me a new sense of phone <laughs> oh dang it <laughs> It rusted it all up. Corrosion! Corrosion! How does that make you feel? I can't believe it. They're buying me a new one. <laughs> Look at Good that. Luck. The cancerous battery juice. Cancer for all electronics. Why wouldn't it happen? So we just got done training truck drivers how to check oil again and making sure they understand that and checking tires. Eric's looking over his quad track. Got trucks coming in here to get some fuel. Randy's cleaning his windshield. We got one guy that's really fussy. He's vacuuming his cab out on his truck, which I support 100%, keep him clean. I should do my combine cab, but I don't have time. I'm gonna fire this thing up and get the engine warming. You ready? My goodness. Dusty. There's a little extra dust too this year. Terrible. Unbelievable. Is the frost off? Can we go yet? I think so. All right, I'm starting mine up. AF1 needs to warm up. And we're picking corn. It's coming off really nice this morning. The second grain cart driver should be here around three o'clock. So Eric doesn't have to be so stressed out. He's pretty stressed out trying to keep up with two of us, trying to monitor. We got clutches on our load auger tank so we can shut off. Like right now, it's not gonna be empty here. So I step on this foot pedal, boom, it just killed my tank augers. Tank augers are off. So now my unload auger cleans off. Now I turn off the unload auger so we can keep on going. There we go. Now he's gonna pull over right behind me and unload the combine that's following me which Randy's operating right now. He's behind a little bit, starting to fill up. Just keep on a rolling. Pretty much when we get two carts, we're pretty much always, seems like we're always unloading. It's, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. I love it, I love it. here we're doing a lot more loading two semis at once being we're not running two carts that thing gets really full so we've trained the guys now to park in a line so you can just boom 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 right down the line it's it's so crazy i don't think the pit has 8,000 bushel an hour leg and i don't think the pit has shut off very much you better get that thing fine-tuned to eat some corn because it's coming for him this is so much fun it's ridiculous look at him
Mom brought Taco John's, woohoo! This is awesome. The day just keeps getting better. Sunday food deliveries from town, so good. So it is currently 2.30. I am in between half and three quarter fuel. So we're running home to fill up because we're gonna be going about uh, 16 miles away from the farm. So we wanna be full so we don't have to run fuel down tonight. And uh, then we'll be off to the next field. We just kind of been bebopping around waiting for the second cart driver and doing these cut up fields. They're talking again. They're talking again. It's not a game, it's a thing. Well, that's fuel, and I'm gonna go check on Dad, see how the bend site's going. All after eating dinner, they're talking yet. This is what I walked out to. Because Chet, yeah, Chet. Forgot to close the upper door. The upper door, so the corn has escaped from its bend. So, they're talking. So now we're gonna go get that grain back again. So now I screwed up this summer with some beans on top of the corn. Randy had some issues with the grain leg plugging it up. Now it's Chet's turn. Hey Chet, clean up on aisle 12. Or was that aisle 25? Oh man, I can smell the sweet smell of corn being dried. That is great. All systems are going. What the heck? Didn't I see you throw out of that bend this morning? Yeah, I left the doors open so we could watch it. And then the wind blew the big door closed, so I didn't know that it wasn't closed. It's just a darn good thing I was able to get that top door closed. Okay, I'm going to get the grain back. Are you really? You're not going to shovel that? You've already got that much in there, huh? Oh, I can't believe it. We are really grind corn. What are you at? What do you mean, what Setting. am I at? How many bushel an hour? I'm at the frustration level. Is that what you mean, what am I at? <laughs> oh my. 1700 bushel an hour out of one, 1500 bushel an hour out of the other. Sweet. And he's still over drying at 13.6. He must have just adjusted it. Here comes a truck. We'll see how them rubber mats are working here with this corn. I will accept responsibility on the uh, leaving that bend door open. That was my fault, that was on me. Unfortunately, now dad has to clean it up. Sorry dad, I'll admit that was my fault. We're just gonna leave that hooked up all season. <laughs> oh, it's dude. gonna be a long season if he has to back all the corn up. <laughs> it's a new way of testing the moisture. Just leave it run out the door for just dip it right out of there. I forgot to set you up so you could enjoy the activities. So, I wonder if any of our neighbors have any chickens. Because our two that we had, well, they never showed up for home one night. Free chicken food may or may not have stones and rocks in it. Chet, that's coming out of your paycheck. Okay, off to the field. Cart drivers have been uh, prepped and briefed. There's the other one, just waiting to go, the 450 and the uh, 1500 bushel cart. We're out of here. AF1 leading the pack. Look at that little cart. <laughs> it's still a huge cart, but sure looks small compared to that other one. Little triangle cart. Call that the triangle cart from now on. Welcome back, Brian. Welcome back. Veteran grain cart operator right there. He's ran grain cart for I don't know how many years for us. His whole life, probably. That is uh, Dad and Randy's youngest brother comes back from the cities to help in the fall corn harvest. Oh my. Where'd the rest of them go to? Um, I left them in the dust. They're all chilling out. Look what she brought! More food for Sunday! Gosh, won't even touch my lunch today. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. There's some corn for the deer. It's full! 129,000. Once again, I was too far away from him, so I spilled a little bit. Don't tell Uncle Randy, he'll be upset. This is my field, so I can spill what I want. Right? Sure. No, they still yell at me if I would spill. 
They're going to see that, though, right by the approach yet, too. That's how that always goes. And it's by a highway, even. <laughs> three, six. I was counting three, six to the center of snow here. Constant radio talk all the time. Well, we're calling her a night. We did 230 acres today. And we're gonna call her quits. About 9.30 tonight. It was a good, what I'll call, first full day out. And uh, thanks for watching this video today, guys. It can only get better from here, right? See you guys next time.